It's already the fourth day Chalamoid. It's at night already, so it's the fourth day Chalamoid of Pesach. Ruf Biederman says a beautiful thought. He says as follows. He says, Vatikach Meir Hanavia Satoif Biyada. Meir Hanavia took the drums. And when she made the Shira, she did it with drums. Why did she use drums? Why didn't she use a harp, a violin? Why dafka drums? So he says, because drums is something that when you beat it, when you hit it, it makes music. The harder you hit it and the different beats, that's the music that comes out. Sometimes claw you strong when you when they get beaten, when you hit them, then the music comes out, the beautiful music of Yid comes out. So Simchas Yantif, the job of Simchas Yantif, is even if sometimes you feel a little bit beaten, to be able to be Mesamech and the Helek Yantif. That's also why music is not just one note, or not just one key or one, one tone. It's different, it goes up and down. It's louder, it's lower, it's all different levels. What's the pshat? The pshat is, is because the goal is, the goal is to be mesameach, to have the helik simcha, even in the ups and downs. Such a beautiful yisad. I want to read you a lakutim aran, fire on top of fire. The amazing lakutim aran. Zok the lakutim aran as follows. Okay, you ready for this one? It's mama. I hope it's a life changer. In kuf ayin he says the ikar Maila of bechia. The big mile of crying is kishabam machma simcha. When it comes from happiness, the chedva. Chedva is like gila ridna, ditza, v'chedva, different levels of happiness. The bechia, the crying, has to come from happiness. Shemei roiv simchase v'akadosh baruchu. He loves Hashem so much. He's so happy with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So therefore he cries because he's misoyer. He wants to be close to Hashem. Crying Crying from from tsar is not the simcha that Hashem wants. Hashem wants that a person has such gaguin, such desires to be close to Hashem, that a that person starts crying. Wow, that's fire. That's the simcha. Rabbi Tzimai says somewhere, I couldn't find it, I didn't really look for it, but I remember he says somewhere, but again, simcha Torah or other things, that the simcha that a person could be piled through the dancing and the simcha is way more than hours and hours of crying and sigh. That's how great simcha is. But listen to Lukut Yamaran. Lukut Yamaran says the word Bechiyav, Be'ez Ches Yud Hei, Be'ez Yud Chof Hei, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, Bechiyav. The Rashi Tevis of Be'ez Chof Yud Hei is Beshimcha Yegilon Kol Hayyan. Beshimcha, in your name Yegilon, we're happy the whole day. Those are the oasis of the word Bechia. Means in your name, Rebbein Hashem, I'm happy the whole day. Fire. The fire is not shy. Because we think, oh, I gotta be tsar, I gotta be sick fetched. No, no, no. Zok the Maran, the Bechia, even the crying has to be Machma Simcha. So he says, he quotes the Kisra Yari, Kanish says, Oyus Abchia Tia, Mi Simcha. Kisra Ariza, the Holy Ariza. The crying should be from Simcha. Fire. So this is the Hachana, this is the gorgeous Hachana for the beautiful days of, 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 of Shri Shal Pesach, Nachon Shal Pesach. Shri Shal Pesach, the Helika Tzadikim used to say that the whole Pesach is a preparation for Shri Shal Pesach. The whole Pesach is a Hachana for the days of Shri Shal Pesach, Nachon Shal Pesach. The Halika of Menachem Mendel Ber Yosef, the Rimenov, as Chusa Yogan Oleinu said in the name of the Rebbe Rabbi Elimelech of the Jensk, he says that the night of Shri Shal Pesach is mesugal to attain tremendous amuna. One could reach very high levels of amuna. Connect yourself to tzaddikim, mesiris nefesh. One's mesiris nefesh. One's working on himself. To think about Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that's what brought Kriyas Yamsuf. We all know that Nachshon ran in. He ran into the Yamsuf. It was up to his nose. He couldn't breathe anymore. Then the Yamsuf split. Mesiris Nefesh. What does Mesiris Nefesh mean? Mesiris Nefesh means that a person is willing to give up everything for Hashem. If a person needs a Yeshua, person needs a Shidduch, person needs Parnasa, person needs a Rafur, the night of, Sh- of Shri Shal Pesach has tremendous koiches, that's what I'm saying. Huge, huge, huge koiches. Big, big, big koiches. And those koiches are for a person to recognize that he's going to be Moise Nefesh Vashem. Take one step. 
with two, the Samarov said there were two people that came to an escalator. Came to an escalator. The escalator is one that you stand on and goes to the top. And they're both standing at the edge of the escalator, and one guy takes a step onto the escalator, and he gets to the second floor. The second guy, his friend, didn't take that one step. He's still, and he wears, he's still at the bottom. The, the first guy took one step, that's all he took, and then he got all the way to the top. The second guy didn't even take the one step. A Kabbalah, when a person does a small thing, everybody said, I'm not talking huge steps, I'm talking small things. When a person does a small thing, a baby step, that baby step is the one step onto the escalator and he gets all the way to the top. And Shri Shah Pesach Mesir Snafshah Kaddish Baruch means that we're willing to take one step, a baby step. Take one step onto the escalator. No, we always talk about Chavitz Chaim. Chavitz Chaim wrote Mishnah Brura. Ah. Chavitz Chaim wrote Mishnah Brura. We think like he cranked it out, like he hit print and the whole Mishnah Brura came out. They say it took him 26 and a half years. I mean, so 26 and a half years, he wrote one line at a time. One line, one paragraph, one page. And after 26 and a half years, he had the Mishnah Brura. I'm talking about in greatness. Greatness doesn't become like in one second you become the greatest person. It's all, it's a baby step. Shri Pesach, the Hachana for the Halik of Shri Pesach is a baby step. It's one small thing, the Swarm say. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He, he, Rav Bidman brings down, says a person could get Yeshua's for Panasa, Shaduchim, and all these things. The same Akadish Baruch, all the things that Akash could create, Akadish Baruch, on the night of Shri Pesach, on this Halik and Nacht, on this tremendous Yantif, one could be part of those things. Besimcha. All besimcha. Like we're saying over and over again, it has to be with happiness. A boy side, we have to work on the happiness as we're more and more locked in and we're more and more by ourselves and we're not out and we're, we're just locked in. It's more of an avoido to work on ourselves to just be simple, be happy with those people that are around us. I have a Mario Dikavar. Mario Dikavar. I want to take number three. Okay? So we said number one is the Indian of Besimcha, Besimcha, Yigil, and Kalyan, be happy the whole day. We said a beautiful avoidus to be the simcha. Now we said over the Indian of Shri Shal Pesach, how amazing Shri Shal Pesach is that one could be pearl big issues. And then point number three I want to talk about a little bit is this thing that I mentioned, the mitzvah of not dominating with a minyana. It's a mitzvah not to dominate with a minyana. Uh, stop things that I'm going to say, I spoke over with the Rav. A, a, a person who I talk to a lot here in America, Tam who is who is a shtekel rabbi of mine, who I'm not going to quote his name just because I stopped quoting names. I'll tell you why, because then people stop asking if it's right. I once said of a story, I'm going to go off tangent just for a second. I once said of a great story about a woman who was my sanefesh. She had a beautiful voice. She lived in Vienna and she had a gorgeous voice and she was offered a position to sing for one of the major, major operas, and it would have been a Chil Hashem, Kalisha, Shabbos, Natsnias, etc. So um, she, she told her parents, she said, this is my chance of a lifetime. She had a voice that wasn't shy. And so her parents, a chance of a lifetime. They said, well, we don't know what to answer. Let's go to the Rav. Went to the Rav of the town. And the Rav of the town said, that I promise you, if you don't sing, if you don't take this, you'll have a child that will light up the world. So she said, you promise me? He said, I promise you. So she didn't sing. And she talked about a child, unbelievable, unbelievable person. So I, I didn't want to say who it was. Someone asked me, who is it? I said, I don't want to say who it is because then you're going to start passing me. Oh, does he, did he light up the world? Did he not light up the world? Maybe, ah, shvacha meister. I spoke it over, or the rabbi, Maishi Maskim. Spoke it over, you don't have to say who it is, what he said, how he said. I spoke it over. Listen to the side. You ready? You ready? Here's the side. The first and the biggest yesoid you got to realize in life, okay? The first and the biggest yesoid we have to realize in life is that, is that everything has to be b'shalom. Life has to be b'shalom. What I mean that life has to be b'shalom, it means, you know, we're in a zone. We're in a zone that, that we're, we're, we're sitting ourselves, and a lot of what we do is we... we we see ourselves, we see around, there's a lot of social media, but then we start talking about people and groups and, and this group and that group, the chassidim, the litfish, the yeshivish, the better ones, chas You know, we start going, we start deciding who's who. We start deciding, is, are they good, are they not good? 
The first thing, the ABC of the whole everything is the avoida that we don't pass judgment on anyone. We don't have a job to pass judgment on anyone. That's not our job. So I'm going into the, this discussion with a mindset that the avoid the yid needs to have is shalom. I respect every yid in the world. I respect everyone. They, I hope they respect us. We, it, it's an overall avoid of shalom. You know, the, the, the final mission in Shas, which I've said so many times, found the greatest vessel for peace in this world is shalom. The greatest vessel for broth in this world is Shalom. Which means, Shalom means that there's a Shlemus. There's such excitement. The Satmarov called his brother. Such excitement. Peace peace brings the biggest broth in the world. You don't have to run around looking for schoolers. Being nice to Klal Yisrael, making peace in Klal Yisrael is the biggest vessel for broth in this entire world. And it's something we need to bring into our kishkes. And that's the way we have to do it. Shalom is respect. Shalom is bracha, shalom is Mashiach, shalom is the vessel for bracha in this world. You want to bring bracha into this world, be nice, don't pass judgment on people. So when I'm going to talk about not making a minion now, it has nothing to do with some people make, some people don't. I don't like them, I do like them, why they make it like this? The Yisrael is like this. There's different avoidance in life. Listen very closely. There's different avoidance in life. There's different services that we have to do when we serve Hashem. The times that we have to serve Hashem, okay, you gotta listen to this very, very closely. The times that we have to serve Hashem, and our service of the Rabbi Hashem is to do. We have to do, we have to be proactive, we have to go, we have to get, we have to get out, we have to do things. That's sometimes our, that, that's mostly the service of the year. And then the service that even the things we're supposed to be doing, don't do. Not because it's an Avera, but don't do it. I wanna quote you a Gemara. The Gemara is in Psachim actually, and Achav Beis Amid Beis. There was a story with Shimon Hamsuni. Some say it was the Chemi Hamsuni. That Shimon Hamsuni darshan all the S in the Torah. The word S, Aleph Tav, could be darshan all the S in the Torah. S was the Rabbis. S come to include S the Rabbis. This S the Rabbis that the word S came to include. He came to the word S Hashem lekechatira, and Shimon Hamsuni darshan. All the essence in the Torah, but he couldn't find the drush of Hashem Alekechatira. Who are you going to include with the with the fearing of Hashem? Who do you include with that? So Shimon Amsun he said, I don't have a drasha. I'm out. So his Talmidim said to him, Rebbe, what are you going to do with all the other essence in the Torah that you dash in? All the other times you dash in this. He said, Kishem Sheki Balti Schar ala Drisha, Kachki Balti Schar ala Prisha. The same way I was Makabal Schar for dashing all the essence in the Torah. I'm a Kabbalah Schar for not darshaning the S in the Torah. And he took back all his drushes, which is a Pella. He said the same way I'm a Kabbalah Schar in the drusha, being darshaning, I'm going to hold back. Until Rabbi Kiva came along and darshaned as Hashem Lekechatira the Rabbi Samit HaChacham. But Shimon Amsuni taught us an amazing thing. Shimon Amsuni taught us a lifetime lesson. That there's times you're a Kabbalah Schar for being Dairish, for doing, being proactive. And then there are times that you're a Kabbalah Schar for being Pirish, for holding back. Rabbi said, the Avoida Bismaneinu today, Hashem says, Davin in your houses. Hashem is telling us to Davin in our houses because that's the Schar. That's the Schar of holding back. A Yid wants to go to Shul. A Yid feels like, I need to go to Shul. I need to be part of it. I want to be part of it. That's what a Yid feels. But the Chiv is the Prisha. The Chiv is to hold back. The fire, the fire, understanding is, is that we're Makabal Schar, we're Makabal Schar for not doing something we're supposed to be doing. That is the mitzvah. When we say it's a mitzvah not to go to shul, the mitzvah is kishem shekibal tishchar al adrisha. The same way as makabel schar for doing, I'm going to be makabel schar for not. When you're sitting yourself in your dining room, and even if there's a minion somewhere that's not supposed to be, in, the rabbanim said don't make minyan, and you don't, and you don't go, you makabel schar for the prisha. But be careful. Be very, very, very careful. Don't put down others, because that ruins the whole thing. That's the Nisoyen. I believe there's a very deep Nisoyen going on here. Quarantine means you're stuck. 
You're stuck with your immediate family, your immediate people, yourself. And you have to look at yourself. You have to do self-introspection. Quarantine is causing us to look at ourselves. It gets uncomfortable. I have to look at myself. It's so much easier to knock the other guy. It's so much easier to say, that guy's wrong. This guy's wrong. This guy's not right. This, no, 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 no. Hashem wants you to do what's right. Not to say anything about somebody else. It's a very strong, it's a hard avoid. It's a avoid. That's the avoid of Shalom. The mysterious nefesh of Yidin has to be a mysterious nefesh of not judging some other people. And it's easy. Look at this guy. This is a We believe in our Chacham. Our Chacham said, don't go to David. We don't go to David. That's our Munus Chacham. Why somebody else is doing it? We don't even look. We don't even look. So you have, it's a very, it's a balance. It's a tightrope balance. Because a, a guy could get off and say, Groner said, it's a mitzvah not to daven with a minion. And then oh, I look down there and there's a guy hiding in the backyard making a minion. I don't say, I, 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 why don't I say? Because my avoider, even though I hold it's not right, I hold it's not right. I hold nobody should make it. I, I, it's partial, on them, but I don't say it because my avoider is not to say in another year. My avoider is to look at another year with iron toif, fire. There's tzaddikim, the tzaddikim who when they were old and they were very sick and they needed to eat on Yom Kippur Tishabal. The doctor said, if you don't eat, it's dangerous. You can chas v'sham die if you don't eat. So one of the tzaddikim said on Yom Kippur, ver vil asen, on Yom Kippur, who wants to eat? It's Yom Kippur, it's the Holy Ketav. On Tisha B'Av, ver ken asen, on Tisha B'Av, who can eat? But the doctor said they have to eat. So they used to cry when they ate, and they used to eat, because the mitzvah for them was to eat. But, but not to say that yen is bad and yen is good. Our job is not to outsmart chachomim. Our job for the best of our neshama is to be able to do self-introspection to look at ourselves. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, these are the three Yisoyedes how a Yid could go into Shri Shal Pesach. In every lane in the Kriyas Yamsaf, in every, it was a, everybody had their own lane. It says every shade had their own lane. They, they saw others, they make sure that, but they had their own lane. Every person has his own lane. And Avoid this Hashem, every Yid has his own lane. Hachana for Shri Shal Pesach, three Yisoyedes. That's three chazer over. Three asoydes. Hachana number one is a year has to be besimcha. Bechia, even if he's crying, the bechia besimcha yegilim kolayim bechia is simcha. You have to cry mitoich simcha. The heaven kol kuti mara and the and the and the ariza. Person's avoid of crying is his rotsun to be connected to Hashem. Number two is we said over the asoydes of Sri Pesach is one could amass tremendous amuna. Tomorrow night, Rabbi said, don't waste a second. Don't be busy with fighting and discussions. And f- Focus, focus, focus on the Indian of Amunah. Belief in Hashem that HaKadosh Baruch Hu could do anything. The sea in front of us looked like it's impossible to part. The sea in front of us. The Yamsuf was in front of Kali, so there was nowhere to run. They were between the rock and the hard place. The Mitzrayim were behind them. The Yamsuf in front of them. There was nothing to do. What are they going to do? They were stuck. There was nothing to do. And Klausar walked into the Yamsuf. They said, we believe in Hashem. The Avoidah, the whole Avoidah of Shri Pesach. I believe, Rebbein Hashem, you can make Nisim. Rabbi said, we can be piled in Nisim for ourselves. Parnasa, Yeshua, Shaduchim, Rufuas, Klausar. We can help stop the Machla. How can we do that? Through the Amuna that the Rebbein Hashem is in charge, he could do anything. He could split the Yamsuf, he could do anything. So I'm saying whatever happened thousands of years ago on Yontif happens again. The Rebbein Hashem split the Yamsuf, healed everyone. It says, it says they said, Zek Heli Van Vehu. When they were crossing, they pointed and said, Zek, this, state in the Helika Rashi, Rashi says, Zek, Ro Shifcha Leyom HaShalei Ro Nevi'im. Ro Shifcha Leyom HaShalei Ro Yechesko Ben Buzi. A maidservant at sea was able to see more than what Ichesko Bambuzi, than what Nevi'im were able to see. It was so open. The Rabbi Nisham was so open. He was so there. The Ibishtah was so there. Roshif Chalayom, Mashalei Ro Ichesko Bambuzi. We could see tomorrow night in our Nisham that a Muna Shleim, an Imam and Ben Muna Shleim, the Rabbi Nisham could bring the Gevaldik Yeshua that we all need of Mashiach. And of stopping the machla. And the final you saw of the mitzvah of not davening with a minion is Kashem Shekibalt is Chal Adrisha. The same Makabal Schal to do and Makabal Schal not to do. But most importantly, an urgent importance that a yid has to recognize, a yid has to know that it's all, all, 
self introspection, not to look down on another year, look up at you then. And if you didn't do things you don't like, try to find the limit schos. We should be Zoichar Abaisai. That tomorrow night we shall bring the shofar of Mashiach. Fire the Keshef of Mashiach. The force and the to all Yidin. I love you all. I fire the Gerav Yontif. And a Geshmaka, Geshmaka, Shri, and Achen Shapesach. A good enough. A good enough. Zaygazan. Sadiq.